Hello, hello, beautiful people. How are y'all doing, beautiful butterflies? I wanted to post this video. We already have a video or uh, a couple of files way early on Patreon that talk about the books that we're going to be reading for 2020 this year. Um, but I wanted to do a video post to make everybody aware of the books that we're going to be reading. We've already tackled the Kabbalion. We're on chapter eight today. That video is going out in about an hour or so. Um, uh, and then the rest of the chapters will be out too, because I want to go ahead and move into the next one. But I wanted to talk about a few of these books so that you all know that these books, in addition to me pulling quotes from my book, okay, are to help us to up-level our mindset. These are all books that have to do with raising you up, okay, lifting your vibration, elevating your consciousness, whether it's to do with your finances, your mental health, your physical, emotional, spiritual health. These are amazing reads. These are books some of them that have had a major impact in my life. Um, I've been on this spiritual journey for a long time, and I got to tell you, oftentimes you are in the minority. So as you start up-leveling your life, as you start looking out yonder, <laughs> being that pioneer, trying to, 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 to jump out of this mass consciousness and all this social, <laughs> social hypnosis, you sometimes can feel alone. So it's important to be a part of a tribe. It's important to have people who you can up-level with, people who can share your light consciousness, people who you can collaborate with and feel a part of a community. And so through reading these books and through staying on this path, um, it can really help you to feel like, you know what? I got a tribe out there. I got a family out there. So the first book you already know we're in is The Kabbalion. This is a very popular book based on Hermetic principles. Um, Trimagistus, Trimagistus, I think is his name, but he was considered a master of masters in terms of the occult, in terms of quantifying what life is about. And so he talks about the seven hermetic principles, um, starting with the mind uh, and everything is mental, okay? Helping you to understand the concept and the nature of this universe, of God, of yourself, helping you to understand the, these seven major laws that you can apply to your life to help you really become a transmuter a mental uh, transmuter of your reality. So it's a very, very powerful book, very, very, very popular. So we're on this book now, as you guys already know, for those of you who are on Patreon, doing the, um, the book shares and discussions with me. The second book is The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. This is my absolute favorite, favorite book now. When you order this book, if you're participating in the, the read, and remember, you don't have to read the books. I'm reading them and sharing them. I'm highlighting the stuff from the chapters that has helped me to understand and to really get the essential nuggets from these books. If you happen to order these books to follow along, please do not get this one. Someone, I let someone borrow my book, my book, the one that I had since I was in college 20 some years ago. I let someone borrow my book. I guess it's been doggone 28 years ago, y'all. I'm 48. So 20 some years ago, I let somebody borrow my book. They didn't give it back. So I went on and got another one. I have it on my iPad. Okay. But for the challenge, I wanted to have the hard copy as well. And they sent me this book, which is the same book, but it's got this super big text on it. I don't like to read like that. So I feel, oh, so make sure you get the original book. If you order this one, amazing book, Deepak Chopra, my icon. This man ushered me into the field of quantum physics and healing with the mind and the possibilities for timelessness, okay? Oh my gosh. I have been studying Deepak since I was in my either 19 or 20. Um, a few years ago, met him in person, wonderful man at his seduction of the spirit retreat in Hawaii. It was beautiful. So he is a true icon of mine. He is like my first love. This book is amazing. The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. If you live according to these spiritual ideals, you will live an affluent and abundant life. If you understand this, you've got everything. If you're Noah, take these on the ship with you, along with some cayenne pepper, some garlic, and my Thieves Essential Oil blend, okay? Think and Grow Rich, a classic, 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 okay? This is another book that they can sell you like this, so be sure that you're getting the right copy, okay? In the post on the Patreon, I believe... The link to the book that I gave you guys is like one of the originals as well. But this book is amazing. You know, it's a classic. It has been around 
for decades and decades. And it is a marvel, okay? It gives you the structure from which to view reality, your place in it, and how to be successful in life and in business, okay? This is a book that moves you closer to your personal power. It's very thought-provoking. And then we have these two books. I feel like I'm, I forgot to bring one of the books down here. One, two, three, four, five. I forgot two of our books. Which two did I forget? How did I do that? Ah, two of these books. This one, um, Girl, Make Your Money, Girl, Make Your Money, Girl. But this is the one that we're reading first. Girl, Get Your Credit Straight, okay? This is by Glenda Bridgeford. These are two excellent books. She is a wonderful financial uh, accountant, speaker, author and just a world-renowned um, expert in the field of finances and she specifically writes um, her her work with not only sisters in mind but the feminine energy in mind okay helping us to think differently about our finances so I love this book now I'm also going to be supplementing and this book here is not on the list I'm also going to be supplementing with investing 101 I really like this book by Kathy um you know, growing your money, passive income, you need to be investing. If you're not investing now, you need to be invested. But this is a marvelous book, so I wanted to also be supplementing some of this work with more detailed information from Investing 101. I don't know. Oh, I'm missing um ah, I have I have it I have it on here. I don't have can't find my Tao Tantric Arts for Women, the hard copy. It's somewhere around the house, but it is on my iPad. And those of you who have the, um, on Patreon and who uh, have the post, you already can see what that book looks like. It's by Minko DeVos and it is an amazing book. It's a, it's a quite a comprehensive read, but that book coaches you through womb healing. It deals with issues of trauma, your sexual power, utilizing your sexual energy, how to make things happen with your sexual power. Let me see if I can find Tao, Tantric, Yep, here it is. This is what the book looks like for those of you who are not on the Patreon. I hope that this will show me the cover of the book. Gosh, okay. This is what it looks like. Oh, yeah. See, on the on the um, app, it's not going to show it to you for too long, which is kind of a drag. Here we go. This is what this book looks like, okay? Tao Tantric Arts for Women. So it's a marvelous, marvelous, marvelous book. I feel like we'll be getting to that in the uh the latter half of 2020 and i'm looking for the other book that i forgot to bring downstairs can't believe i got to bring it down here um the science of getting rich the science of well-being this is wallace d whittles and this also is an amazing book when you get the copy that um i'm recommending on uh amazon you get the 10 books in one all right so for those of you who are on patreon you can look at the post and this is what it looks like okay it's the ultimate collection. It's a wonderful, wonderful book. It is so empowering. I wanted to add the science of mind, but I said that's too much. So just deal with my favorite books. But these are amazing books. They're extremely empowering. They are going to uplift you. They would even be wonderful books to get started on during this time if you happen to be um, in your home or a little bit more stationary. Guys, this is a time to find something constructive to do besides watch the media craze out here and listen to the people in your lives who are amping up this whole panic epidemic or this panic pandemic. That's why they should be calling it a pandemic because it's a panic pandemic. So um, anyway... I hope you all join us for our book shares in 2020 and look out for the Kabbalion chapter seven, no, chapter eight, which will be posting for you in probably less than an hour. Sending you much, 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 much love. Beautiful people. Hope you had a chance to look at the three pulls today from the Oracle for um, our energy. You all knew we, we know we pulled the flexibility card, the happiness card, and the gratitude card. So I interpreted those in a way to help you to see within the context of what's happening around you, a strategy for moving forward. Love you. Bye. Join us on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash Ali.